Welcome back to Good Morning Savannah Tuesday, and I hope everyone's starting off on a pretty good note. Hey, we had this right before the break. We talked about severe weather awareness. We have a few more tips for you as well. Something to remember and thunderstorm. This is today is thunderstorm is the topic tomorrow is tornadoes and usually typically thunderstorms last maybe about an average of 30 minutes. And of course, to become severe, not all thunderstorms are severe just because you have lightning and heavy rain does not uh, classify them as uh, severe, but especially they can produce some large hail and also 58 mile per hour winds. That's what makes them a severe thunderstorm and many thunderstorms of course occur in Florida by far. Florida has the most thunderstorms in a year. Light radar, nothing going on across the coastal empire of the low country. No severe storms, no lightning strikes out there. We're seeing some light rain uh, just to south of Louisiana, but as we go throughout our daytime, we'll see high clouds on the increase, but That'll be the only thing we'll see overall throughout the day. Mainly sunny skies. Storm tracker model will show that going a little beyond this 12 hour forecast. 9 o'clock this morning. Lots of clear skies. Jump ahead into the afternoon at 2 o'clock. Continue seeing mainly sunny skies. And then by the evening, we'll see those clouds on the increase by 7 o'clock after the sunset. Probably even become mostly cloudy when you wake up tomorrow morning. But keeping the rain out of the forecast at least over the next two days with rain likely probably by Thursday morning. That'll be our next chance of rain. Bundle up this morning. Been talking about this all morning long. Finally, we're seeing a 20s for our current temperature outside, like in Pembroke, 29 degrees, 31 Savannah, Richmond Hill, also Midway, Statesburg, Metter, Reedsville, all the way down to Jessup. And when you factor in a little bit of wind out of the north between 5 and 10 miles per hour, here's what it feels like outside. Feels like 22 in Pembroke, feels like 24 Vidalia to Metter to Statesboro. That heavy coat this morning, walking to school, definitely need those gloves on. And if you have to work outside, it's going to be cold and chilly even into the afternoon as well. And I have that here on your hourly forecast. Bright sunshine as we start the day out going into the afternoon by lunchtime today 48 to 50 degrees most areas this afternoon 3 4 o'clock about 52 to 54 and that runs about 8 degrees below our seasonal averages but one thing we'll see today is mainly sunny skies so that'll feel really nice and I promise everyone not as windy as it was yesterday along the coastal areas that we'll see a little bit of breeze uh, throughout the afternoon making plans for the weekend. Sunshine on Saturday, 62 degrees. That's going to feel nice, but look at Sunday. Oh, that's going to be good as well. Upper 60s for daytime highs. Now the storm tracker seven day forecast. I was talking about that chance of rain late Wednesday, but mainly Thursday morning could pick up a little more than a quarter of an inch in some spots as a cold front moves through. And with that cold front, it's going to trim our temperatures down. May not get out of the 40s on Friday. I went 50 degrees morning lows 30 for Friday morning, also for Saturday, and we'll see lots of uh, great weather for Saturday and Sunday with temperatures into the 60s. Always remember you can keep up with the weather from the palm of your hand for a quick look at the current conditions radar or forecast download